Can I tell you this? The church that Jesus died for is not a weak and a beggarly church. The church that Jesus died for is not a negotiating church that sits down and we continue to be victims of situations and circumstances both human and demonic the church that jesus died for and the church that he's returning for is a supernatural church in matthew chapter 10 when you read from verse 1 then we flip very quickly to verse 7 matthew chapter 10 this was jesus now having mentored the disciples for a season the bible says he called on to him his 12 disciples and he gave them power 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 against unclean spirits that means that power has no effect on clean spirits the moment you are a clean spirit you are welcome the power does not have any effect but the moment you are an unclean spirit that power was not designed to be silent power against unclean spirits not to talk to them not to discuss with them to cast them out and to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of disease verse 7 and he instructed them as ye go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand next verse it says heal the sick with that power i gave you cleanse the lepers raise the dead cast out devils freely ye have received freely give do you know what he's saying in other words do not just carry an empty message when you carry an empty message the people have a right to doubt my friend look at me come hold on hold on what was wrong with you it's all right where are you coming from from meduguri that's all right check yourself check yourself that's all right listen that's all right help him he's still under the anointing that's all right listen it's okay take the mic away from him please my friend look at me whether you are a believer or an unbeliever you are welcome to church this is the power of god in the name of jesus christ when i'm going to be making the altar call later on when you hear the altar call just run quickly and come and join the people here in the name of jesus god bless you thank you hallelujah are we together john chapter 20 john chapter 20 please write it down john chapter 20 from verse 21 john 20 john 20 from verse 21 and jesus said unto them peace be unto you someone prophesy peace to yourself one more time say peace be unto me he said as my father has sent me question how did the father send him as my father has sent me with the supernatural life supernatural message supernatural demonstration of that reality he says even so send i you I am not just sending you there is a way
works but jesus said it Until we restore the supernatural to the church not just blind fanatism but the supernatural as a demonstration of the fact that god is alive and he's still moving in the midst of his people can i tell you this if the supernatural begins to erode out of the church a day will come will come to church and only meet empty pews i guarantee you today in our world there are options i hope you know that oh yes sir there are options do not downplay the desperation of people and how far people can go when they are desperate we have no right to keep telling people don't go to idol worshipers don't go to anyone don't worship any other god just come to jesus now they come and then we tell them don't worry he will do something i, I spoke to him yesterday he just said he's still walking Are we together? The church that Jesus died for is a supernatural church. The supernatural is not for preachers. The supernatural is not for apostles. The supernatural is not for prophets. The supernatural, please look at me. The supernatural is not for those in ministry. The supernatural is for believers. The moment you come into this faith life, you have come into a supernatural life in every way. You must expect the supernatural, not just supernatural events, supernatural living. Not just supernatural events, supernatural living. That this becomes your default state. That means you get up in the morning, and it is possible that someone just comes to your office and shakes your hand and just because he touched your hand without knowing the person leaves and all of a sudden a, a, a disaster that should happen to him when those demons come they meet a system of defense who prayed for this one no a supernatural person touched this one listen to me listen the life that you received that you call so way eternal life john chapter 3 verse 16 just help those under the anointing it says for god so loved the world believers look at me let's go back to elementary christianity god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever everybody say whosoever he didn't say that the man of god he didn't say the american he didn't say the european he didn't say the african that whosoever believes in him listen should not perish but as a reward you have to have means it's been given to you to have means you are not expecting shall have so way the life of god listen brothers and sisters hear me and I want you to truly believe what I'm saying. The Bible says this is the record. That's a legal terminology. Many of you are, are legal practitioners here. This is the record that God has given us eternal life. 
I agree that from my background I may not have anything help them I agree that based on whatever it is but you have eternal life you know what eternal life is eternal life is not the life you will get when you get to heaven no 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 eternal life is the supernatural God by his spirit coming to plant within your human spirit the reality of heaven the reality of the life the power the glory the culture the atmosphere of heaven in A life of victory. Let me tell you, when you know this, you will spend your life helping the lost to find Jesus. It's more than just evangelism. You are helping them. There is no other help that is greater than connecting people to Jesus. Everybody Jesus healed still died. Everybody he raised from the dead still died. But there is something you receive and not perish. If you receive healing, you will perish. If you receive breakthrough, you can still perish. But the life of God. Now, please listen to me. Listen to me. When you receive this supernatural life, the next assignment of the Holy Spirit, watch this. Because you see, the activity of the new birth does not necessarily affect your mind. The activity of the new birth is a spiritual affair so your mind may be unfruitful many times you just recited something a preacher said to recite and you didn't feel anything didn't fall most times didn't stand you just felt the peace of god and they clapped for you and you followed someone and chances are you can downplay the miracle that just happened to you because it was so easy and so cheap in one minute even if a room has been dark for 24 years the moment you put light light will not start and say let me respect the darkness in that instant the light comes so both the room that has been dark for two hours 10 days 
hundred years they all react the same way to light but when that light comes watch this just because you are a recipient of that life does not make you walk in the liberty of that life let's establish a few things here number one we have been called into a supernatural life based on the authority of scripture the church of the lord jesus is a supernatural church the supernatural should be nothing strange for us through us and with us salvation the new birth experience itself is supernatural that's what gives us the basis for manifesting the supernatural however just because you are a recipient of the life of god through the new birth experience does not mean you will walk in it experientially there is the dynamics of the supernatural and that's what i want to expose you to because there are many people as true as all i've said is you may spend the rest of your life living and allowing your life to be a misrepresentation of the power the grace the glory of god and tonight let god be true and every man a liar. If what I've said and all I've said is true, why then do we have preachers that are powerless, businessmen that are powerless, career people that are powerless, believers that are powerless, everything natural, the sequence of your life natural. There is nothing extraordinary in your life. When I look at your life and if it is true that you've been grafted into Christ through the activity of new birth, I should find that signature of the supernatural trailing you like a shadow, following you. A week should not pass without you having a supernatural testimony. Okay, apostle, I went in the midst of people and I'm listening. Aha, uh -huh, what happened? And they just pushed me. Aha, uh -huh, and what else? Uh, I return back home. No, no, that story is not complete. Apostle, I got to a place that was full of unbelievers. Uh huh. I'm listening. What happened? They looked at me. We just said we just exchanged pleasantries, and I left. You left. Nothing happened from you through you to them. Jesus was not revealed. Nothing happened. The sick were not healed. Demons were roaming around and you were there.
will never fail but since he has decided that this partnership is a salt covenant inseparable two of us cannot fail together you carry this mentality when you get into an office you enter not as an employee you enter as an act you have been entering as one who was employed who is being paid x amount of naira or dollars or pounds that is the reason why you go through the limitation that comes with that system but when you know that beyond salary i am a blessing doors that has been trying the company has tried and tried to get those doors open suddenly when god wants to bless that company he gives them the privilege of employing you when you enter that office you don't have to tell them you have come the manager returns back and says how many staff do we have oh 26 now 27 who was the last person employed and they said one one gentleman like that okay I've noticed in the last one week something has happened here something supernatural has happened have you noticed the kind of favor have you noticed that stealing has reduced in this company just because the man was there all the three thieves that used to steal they were caught red-handed people who have been stealing for five years nobody catching them with all the charms that they had an ark just came please hear what i'm telling you i'm teaching you truth from scripture you are not just an employee no you are not just a business partner what you are bringing is more than capital what you are bringing is the presence divinity the supernatural they bring you into a ministry as a pastor you are not just one of the 30 pastors no with all due respect every other person can believe what they believe but you know there is an implication i'm sharing with you my mindset i'm sharing with you my beliefs the mystery of godliness the mystery of godliness your life becomes an effulgence of signs and of wonders your life becomes a, a marvel first to you not because you are anything special in yourself ladies and gentlemen what i'm teaching you these are not just these are not cunningly devised fables these are truths that are provable god can live in a man you can have something you were not born with you can have something that was not given to you in a university you can have something that was not given to you in your nation the reality of the life of god at work in a human spirit listen please hear me listen to me our fathers of faith men like tl osborne men like rw shambach these men and women carried this revelation they came to africa they shifted climate with power and with grace ordinary men mighty god ordinary men powerful god ordinary men all wise god ordinary men el shatai
you are being sent, not when you are made. You will be amazed to know what is happening to people now from the realm of the spirit. All kinds of impartations. All kinds of liftings. This is not about Joshua Selman. This is every believer's heritage in Christ. How many people have been jailed for doing nothing because they could not walk circumspectly?